Hey everyone, Chris here from Roundtable Cop. Jumping into desynced for the very first time. This is in early access. It's developed by Stage Games Inc. Published by Forklift Interactive. And thank you very much to Stride PR for the review key. Desynced comes out on the 15th of August and is a sci-fi strategy game with fully customizable units and behaviors. Gather, build, research, and explore the unknown. Alone or with friends, unveil the mystery of an AI on the edge of self-awareness and uncover the hidden truth in this blend of strategy, automation, and exploration. This is again in the Steam Early Access and it'll be in Early Access for about a year. As it stands now, you can enjoy the game for dozens of hours of playtime and the developer's vision is a game that you can play for hundreds of hours and restart for hundreds more, enjoying the beginning as much as the end. At the moment, there's a sandbox mode with some story elements. You can play any seed to late game progression, play multiplayer. Story is incomplete. Faction 2 assets are incomplete and Faction 2 and 3 are not gameplay complete. So it's enough for a good sample, I reckon. So I'm going to go into the tutorial first. Then we'll check out the campaign. Welcome what? back, Commander. Your ship has been damaged, and I've taken you out of stasis. I am Elaine, Emergent Logistics Artificial Intelligence Network. What you're seeing is a feed from an unidentified planet, where I've deployed a team for you to command. This planet seems to be the source of the damage, and we are unable to leave the planet's orbit until our ship is repaired, and the source of the damage is identified. You will need to establish a small mining facility in order to proceed with ship repairs. This will be your primary objective. Communications are currently limited, so one of the first things you will need to do is to establish an uplink from ground level. Try to find metal and crystal deposits, as we will need them for repairs. Okay. <clears throat> so we do the camera. <clears throat> Zoom in and out. Uh, select the scout. Move it around. So, yes. Right click to investigate. Investigate ruined structures across the world for data to help advance your technology. You may need to repair them before you can gain access. Exploring them could provide valuable information and resources. Unlock access, please complete the requirements chain. So click on view console. Oh, let's see. <laughs> we got to click it such that. Ah, okay. We need to complete the circuit. Oh. Oh my god, so close. No! Oh my god, it's so close. <clears throat> oh, this is so frustrating. But good. But, oh, that's a bit of a brain test. That does that. Does that. I don't know how to, you gotta learn what every little square is gonna do to you. Work out the opposite. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Ooh, ah. Ah, so we get a small turret. We'll take that. And then repair required, but it's missing a circuit board, which is produced by an assembler. Okay. So let's get the scout back. And bring him back because he's got the thing in him. And then we'll get the command center. Uh, you have the ability to deploy your command center. To try deploying in between two resources, deploy your command center using the deploy base button. There. Let's go right there. Okay. Got that. Now let's begin mining crystals, like the other scout. 
Get the crystals. You're about to pick up uh, units and buildings gain functionality via components that need to be constructed separately. Components are placed into sockets, which come in just four sizes small, medium, large, and internal. You can equip a component into the same size sockets or larger. You can process metal ore using the fabricator. Try equipping it onto your command center. So click the command center. Oh. That's a small. Can I put that in a medium? Yes. Good job. The fabricator can now be set to produce metal bars from the gathered ore. Set the production and you'll notice the units will automatically deliver the required ingredients. Click on production next to the fabricator. And then double click on metal bars. Start we production. We require a okay. large quantity of materials for future production, so having several dedicated production buildings is recommended. I would suggest building one or two more facilities to produce metal bars. The more buildings we have, the faster we will be able to produce materials. Later, we will need to increase the number of mining units in order to keep up with demand. Right. More. Okay, so if I get, can I get rid of that turret then? Unless I do need another one. This is more component, but we do want that. Um, do want a fabrica. How do I make one? Ah, so you need 10 bars to make a fabricator. What the? Do it right? I don't think I did. So that's smashing the metal. <clears throat> no space in an inventory for crystal chunks. Oh, because he's full. So how do we fabricate? We need a fabricator for... Yeah, so we want a fabricator. Oh, we need an assembler? Hmm. But I kind of don't want to keep making... I stop that. Clear that. Visual store code. I want, I want to stop you. Change production. Fabricator. Yes. There we go. And then we put another one there. <coughs> so do we want to make that metal bars? Foundation plate. Okay. This one? 
metal bars as well. Okay. Oh, expanding production. Now automate production of metal bars by constructing a dedicated production building. Open the build menu and construct a small building. Press B and then small building that can go oh yeah anywhere like that put it there okay items can be moved between buildings and units in a number of ways such as clicking and dragging the item onto the new building another way is to have a building request a desired item select the new building click the request item then request a fabricator yes you'll notice the fabricator will automatically be delivered without having to specify where to get it from the fabricator has been delivered to the new building where you can equip it into a socket and begin metal bar production one space for yeah it's a reserved component that needs to be built but to do that what's that missing production ingredient metal but <laughs> well, there's like 3,000 of it how are they out of ore that's weird why is that I pause one then if I cancel that and I put that to a small component there <clears throat> that will deliver it to there right and then equip it then change the production metal bar we are now ready to produce a new construction material metal plates are also produced in a fabricator so set up a new production facility in the same way as you set up the bar production place another building but this time set the production to metal plates right you press b small building and then once that's done so we want this one another fabricator one wants a fabricator. Put it there. Then we go to metal plate. Okay. To produce more mining units, you must fabricate an assembler. With it, you will be able to produce a worker unit and equip it with a minor component. Both of these are produced in the assembler. It is also capable of producing circuit boards, which are used in unit and component production. So we'll get an assembler. Okay, and then I assume we then build another building. And this one. We will want to get... Oh, we did get the assembler. That one, we want to request an assembler. Oh, it's a medium, though. Hmm. Can't put that there, can we? No. So if I take that out, unequip component, then can I put that into the building? Yep, and then can I produce circuit board? Yes, I can. Hmm. Right, so we're going to have to pump metal plates. 
going. This, no. This guy. Get the. So he needs five crystal and three metal plates. There we go. Um, produce a worker unit and incorporate the minor component with these assembler. I need to get an assembler. Did I get an assembler? I did get an assembler. If I stop that, I want a worker unit. It's a worker bot. Do that. <clears> hey, <throat> okay. then what else? It's a, we don't need an uplink, we want a minor component. Okay. There he is. But that guy goes on to that worker. Silica, metal. Okay. Once we have the required resources, we should look at into constructing an uplink. This will establish a direct transaction to the mothership, allowing us to upload data and unlock our full potential. Advancing our understanding of this mysterious world will be crucial to access. The uplink can be produced in assembler. So we want to get the uplink. That is done. That goes into a medium. So if I unequip, oh no, that's not enough. No, no beta. If I put you in there, and I make, what do I want to make? Oh, I need to unequip that. I need to put that. Okay. Right. Oh. Oh, research. We should try to make our operations as efficient as possible by having dedicated production buildings, researching more advanced buildings and units, and by using automation. Automation may be achieved in a variety of ways, the most fundamental of which is our logistics network. Make sure the robots that you wish to be fulfilling orders are connected to this network. We have established a connection to the surface and I have already begun synchronizing our databases. With this, we are now able to research new technology from the tech tree interface. This will help us replace the missing data from the damaged data center. Okay, the fabricator can only produce basic materials and components. More options are available by producing an assembler. Use the fabricator to make an assembler. Place the assembler in the middle. Sorry. So, I need to be. Oh, can I get building that has medium in it okay so i need to unequip that i need to equip that in order to expand your technical capabilities research is essential i recommend this constructing an uplink it will enable access to your tech tree make one circuit board use the center to make an uplink on your command center unequip the fabricator i did that oh crap get rid of that no there, get rid of that to there, equip the fabricator, put the uplink in. <clears throat> the uplink is in place and you can start your technology research, access the tech tree and choose one of the initial research nodes. Click the research button, click the basic tree, select one of the research nodes and then select reset. Minimize that. So we've got basic signals. Basic structures, basic power. Oops. So it says basic structures, maybe. Okay, basic structures, which is reinforced plate building. Oh, yeah, a medium building. That'd be cool. Okay, set research. <clears throat> Our resource mining needs to increase in order to keep pace with our production. We need to add more mining bots. On your command center, produce one circuit board. 
enough. Then build a minor component. And a worker bot. So let's build the worker bot first. Which is happening. Hmm. There. And then we're going to build miner. Mount the mine on the worker and set it to mine middle ore. That, put it on the worker. Where's the worker? There, and then set you to get middle ore. When a unit is connected to the logistics network, it will automatically try to fulfill any item transfer requests. For example, if a fabricator requires ingredients, any idle bots on the network will try to find that item inside the network and carry it to the location of the fabricator. Units can be connected and disconnected from the logistics network. When they are first built, robots are off the network by default. Pressing P shows the area that the logistics covers. Okay. Explanation of advanced automation options are available in the codex. If your mining bot is on the network, then other robots on the network will pick up the mined ore from when it required, adding your mining bot to the network by clicking left plus button on the network. Network button on oh, that one. You will notice your miners are starting to reach capacity, so it would be good to have storage unit. Open the build menu and click on store. Storage block just there. The store parameter tells a unit where it can store its inventory when it becomes full. When the mining bot can no longer hold resources, it will place all its items onto the storage block, allowing it to continue mining. Select one of your miner units. Click on the store parameter and then select storage. Unlocking more production materials is required to advance our technical technology. So begin research of basic structures done that with the research click basic. There, yep. So eight of ten steps are done. And you can pause it or cancel it. Nine or ten. We've got eighteen seconds. Well that's done. Mothership repairs. We need higher level material production. Advanced materials are the next level of development, which can be produced in the assembler. We will require a high volume of materials, so you will need more buildings and mining units to keep up with resource demand. Okay. <clears throat> Reinforced plate is produced in an assembler. Building with a medium socket is now available, however, it also requires reinforced plate. You will need to produce the required ingredients in the command center before setting up dedicated production. On your command center, produce 20 reinforced plate. Whoops. How do I set the amount? Oh, okay. 10, 20. Okay. And two circuit boards. I do a queue. No, it looks like I need to do that. While you're waiting for production, now is a good time to scout your surroundings. There are many ruined structures scattered across the landscape. Some have requirements to open. There is a large one on the side. Continue to produce 20%. All right, so this here, I needed that dude there to go here. So he's got the turret. And oh, he needs to carry a bloody. Um, need to put that. That guy. He's gonna go back and get it. Doink. And then come back. Boom. Come back. All right. So that then. 
transfer item. The technology in this structure is highly compatible with our own. Investigating more of these structures would advance our own technology. That's cool. So we get crystal chunks and we get robotics data cube, a cube of incredibly dense data, the result of running millions of simulations. Located in ruins, there's two available. Let's take all of those. Sweet. Okay. Awesome. These data cubes have extremely dense data clusters. It seems, right now, we can only access surface level data. If we can recover more of these cubes, we can gain greater knowledge of this world. With a sufficient amount, it will help us unlock gateway technology. Okay. So we need to get 20 reinforced plates and two checker balls. Three more of them. <clears throat> right, and then we need two of now to set up dedicated production of reinforced place start by building the medium building open the build menu and we want medium building oh cool that uses two let's construct that let's put that oh, let's put it next to it okay that's being built now set up the new building with an assembler producing reinforced plates. Produce and equip an assembler. So, need to get an assembler. Set it to produce reinforced plates. Okay. So we've got that. Not yet. There we go. That on there. Boom. Then we set that. The last material that we should automate for now is circuit boards, which is also produced in an assembler. Follow the same process as setting up the reinforced plate dedicated building and set it to circuit boards. Press produce another assembler in your command center. So we want another assembler. And this one, it's going to pump out unlimited of those. Oh, he's only got one slot though. Oh, we need to do another building. All right, B. Let's build another building next to it. This guy is going to be a circuit board. So we've got no circuit boards, right? Two of those. And that assembler goes onto that. <clears throat> Once it's built. Yeah, so that's only got yeah, okay, one of two and four of twenty. Right I go. It's complex, but you get it. <clears throat> it makes sense after a while. Where was the other? There it is. Scattered reason. Oh, okay. So it's just a metal thing. What else did I see? Oh, yeah. Okay. How's this guy? Two of those, and it's, it's six. What's that? Storage is there. And this one's doing nothing. Suck it. Fabricator. Maybe this one did. Um, 
set to its metal plate. There's one metal bars and metal plates. I kind of didn't need this. Thing, so I'm just for it for now. Unless we need that to make metal bars. Okay, two buildings for metal bars, one for metal plates. That's pumping out reinforced plates. That need, case needs to be more. Got no active research either. Okay, I've done that. We've done that. Okay, so that's objectives, that's good. Build codex library. Control center. And where's the codex there? Wowzers. <coughs> Wonder what we do next. Basic robotics? Wow, look at those tech unlock. That's pretty damn cool. Missing tech, yeah. Let's wait for the um, tutorial to tell what to do next. I kind of want to. In a lot of these games, I will rush forward and go, okay, I get it now, and then I'll start rushing things, and then I deplete resources or make some kind of stop gate to myself, and I'm like, ah, should have just waited and be patient. So I'll be patient. There's only two more reinforced plates, and then this production will be checkerboard. We have a wider range of structures now with which to expand our base. We will need to research basic robotics to produce more advanced materials needed for mothership repairs and more efficient units to manage our base. Okay, so that the assembler <coughs> need to be put on that building. Uh, we're not building a building, are we? Did I stuff that up? Assembler. Stuff that up. Um, basic robotics. Also, start research. It's doing that. That's doing that. That goes on there. Then that goes. There, that is that, and it's unlimited. Your units and components receive power while they are within a power grid. P. This is what we got on. While they are outside the grid, they will begin to draw drain power from the battery until it is depleted. The power grid is what defines the area of your logistics network. Expanding your power grid will also expand your logistics network. Research basic power to be able to produce crystal power and power field components. Crystal power components will store power similar to a battery by consuming crystal and acting as a buffer should you start to have insufficient power for your grid. Power fields will help to expand the area of your power grid, making it easier to get to resources further away such as silica nodes. Research basic power. So can I queue basic I'll add to Q. Brilliant. Okay. So we got that. Which is going to take its own time. Four of ten steps. And then basic power will be next. Okay. Alright. So we got that pumping out plates. That's pumping out circuits. Obviously, we're going to need a lot of them. That guy's doing nothing. I wonder if I should have a storage for crystal. Is that a good idea? Maybe not. No, they seem busy. I'm 
because these are constantly pumping out these two, they're probably not going to sit dormant too long. Maybe. Have we got two? Okay, we've got two on crystal. Righto. Okay, how's research gone? Oh, yeah? Ooh, progress. We can do foundations and then a wall. That's cool. Building 2S. Ah. Oh. So that's. Okay, so that's what I've built. Whereas this one can have two S's. S built. Okay. Right. Oh. Okay. Good. So we have. Okay, the robotics assembler will be the primary production component for our energized materials such as energized plates. A foundation material for construction and repairs. It is also a component that focuses on more sophisticated robot assembly methods. Produce one of these components so that we can build a larger variety and more efficient robots, such as Dashbot. Uh, so that. Didn't really un. Okay. Oh, do I want a robotics assembler? So is that that's a medium component. Do I want? Is that what they were saying? Where did I s build? Okay, build a robotics suite. Okay, so I do need to build that robotics assembler. Right, it's five of those ten, and then I have those. Brilliant. Just want one. Okay, that's going there. Power, basic power is being researched. Sweet as. And that's being built. We've achieved some integration of this planet's natural resources into our technology, which will allow us to make necessary repairs to our mothership. Further research into robotics production is required to continue to expand upon what the robotics assembly can produce. Building new types of robot units will help us drive us towards our goal. Silica naturally occurs in the plateau regions of the world in large amounts and is your primary ingredient for producing silica. Extreme caution must be observed while on the plateau, however, as mass life signs have been observed and it appears they use the silica to construct their hives. It is highly recommended to bring a portable turret with you for defense. So that worker has a miner. So I've got a component, medium. Can a worker have a medium? No. How do I, what do I have to build? Do I need to build, uh, okay, research, gotta wait for that. Oh, research robotics production. So let's put that into the queue then. Robotics production, add to queue, and store silicon. So we want a storage for silicon. bot can only have a small component that's a medium component yes building could have a medium component a deconstructor allows disassembly of completed units a minor bot prefab Um, scout the area for silica and t let's click that more information the useful method is to use a radar component to detect it oh yeah okay I did see some silica I think there okay so we want this guy to pick up Silica. Can I queue up all these things if I hold down shift maybe? One, two. Oh, how good. Okay, you get that too. Or are you full? 
Nearly not full. Almost. Now we need to store that. Let's put that into the storage block. Or do I need to put that into a building? Not yet. Just gonna store it. Can I store that? What are you going, dude? Have I stuffed it up? There. And I'll put that there. Yes. Ah. Okay, so that's silica stand. Sand, sorry. That is okay. That's silica. Hot. Worker. Man, oh, that's right. Let's get that guy there. That guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. With a turret on. Moving. Stop moving. Yeah. You. No. Come back. Get this. No. Dude. How do I get you to stop? A scout bot. Stop. Stop it. Stop doing it. Um, resource to mine. Silica sand. Go. What? Come here, yoink. There we go. He's got a tar. Hey, where did his turret go? What? This is really. All right. This guy should be getting. Okay. This guy get crystal then. Fine. This guy with a thing on his head. Oh, so he can't. He can only. He moves stuff around. And, and oh, they can only have one. Okay, that makes total sense. So I need to produce silicon. How do I do that again? It's got a fabricator that's making that. That is going to so basic power is well basic power is taking forever. Did I <clears throat> that requires forty that does crystal power, light, portable power field. Can I pause the research? Or do I need it? Probably need it. Okay, so I think I could, I think I slowed down. Crystal collection. Is it this guy? Oh, he's got. Okay. You've had enough. Go and store your stuff. Right. You store your stuff in there. Check it in. Oh, where are you going? Oh, my God. Okay. Put that in there. Put that in there. You can be a crystal dude, too. We need a lot of crystal. I wonder how much silicon it takes to get um, so is silicon in store store silicon more information radar component how do you get a radar component not yet So, <clears throat> transmits 500 power per second over a small area. Research required. Right. So that's why we're taking our time getting power. Boom. Okay, power is required to run your base. If you go over your power threshold, the efficiency of your units will decrease, making them run slower until they are unable to function at all. Units have emergency stored power that allows them to return to base in the case of a power outage. Check your power usage in the command center. With basic power researched, you are able to produce power fields. These components allow you to increase the size of your power grid or to start an entirely new and separate grid. You should begin expanding your power grid so that you can reach resources further away. Produce a small power field. Small power. Well, right, that's done. And then robotics should be. Oh, damn. So you can't do anything until you get energized plate and silicon. Damn. Now that 
you are mining silica we need to get that silica coming back to the base to proceed first build a storage building near your base to receive the silica got it and then produce a worker bot that will carry the silica from your miner to the storage building and then uh go to button go to button to the miner bot now yep yeah, you need to set the store point okay so that needs to go to there ah <clears throat> finally researching basic signals will allow you to begin producing components that can allow your units to scan the environment and to s oh is he out of power a power source to operate efficiently you can equip one after you've researched it or ah. components that supply and transmit power oh damn so that there is a small unit so I need to build a small thingy. Uh, I need to get a note. I need to press building. Small. Let's put it right there. That go to there. Nice. And then that extends power. Oh yes. What's that? Ah, oh, your crystals. Okay right i got it now so he's gotten power he's doing that okay on that basic signals so go to t basic signals add to q i should probably jump that up actually so let's up there there's basic signals to be able to do it sweet okay I feel like I'm missing something in terms of not being able to build silicon. So, what I get? Power bot. Uh, how can I make silicon? I need to get one of these. Oh, there it is. That easy. Okay, so I need to get two and one or one and one. Oh, let's get one. Let's put it there. And hmm, that will be the silicon producer. Okay. And we need a fabricator on there. And then that will be silicon unlimited right yes need 40 of them and we should yeah perfect all right now we're building silicon then once we get silicon where's my e the basic robotics needs silicon and then energized plate but okay. uh so that needs that and that robotics assembler oh man so have i built that robotics thing i'm pretty sure yeah i have and it's on a medium so i need a medium building man i'm an idiot medium building two medium with one thing or one medium one small let's build two and one. let's put it Yeah. Man, that's quick. Then we put that onto that. that so this here needs to have energized plate let's 
crank those out. So to research robotics, we need 20 of those and 20 of those each step. Holy dooly. Now we're cranking. Having researched basic signals, you are able to produce radar components. One way you can use the radar is to search for ruins like the one you explored before. Using an assembler, make a portable radar. Portable radar. Put the radar on one of your scout bots and set the first search filter to scan for unsolved. Oh, cool. So, do I need another worker bot? Probably, once that's done. We need that's an eye, is it? Is that an oh, it's an eye. oh cool. Okay, so if I build a worker bot that has one S, two eyes, okay. So we're gonna get a bot, we're gonna put a defensive thing on it, and then we're gonna put a portable radar on it. bot almost ready there it is all right so you're gonna get a turret and a portable radar brilliant okay they set the first search filter to scan unsolved Unsolved. Um, now you can take the scout out and explore the world for unsolved ruins. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the navigation training simulator. Continue expanding on your base and exploring your world. We can go here. Right click to investigate. Oh, laterite hall. Okay, disconnected. So via the console. So we've got to flip these around. Ah, oh, we're going to join that. So we're going to join. All nodes need to be connected to the source node. Rotate any of the squares by clicking them. That's so cool. All right, so that needs to go there. That needs to go there. No, it doesn't, does it? Oh, here we go. Boom. So we've got a small power field there and then we need a metal plate so all right so this guy needs to go get how do i make him pick up a metal plate nope nope go get a metal plate this one <clears throat> this one is oh well he's got one Oh, he's got no room, does he? Damn, all right. We'll put this on equip. And then put that on your dude. Missing item. Thought he had one. All right, 
Well, he needs power, so come back. What's he got on him, anyway? Small power. He's got a power field. Can't you just do it yourself? Weird. Alright, well, he needs to pick up a bloody... Now, yeah, let's just double check that. So that there. I'll oh, okay. come back. Come back. Food. Okay, so we need one of these. How do I get him to pick up one of them? Oh, that's the visual of it. Mm. Uh, so I need him to pick up. Oh, this is... <clears throat> I need a metal plate. Oh, okay. So if I get a metal plate, one of those... I just want one. Not enough free space. Because... Is that? Right. Okay, well this guy come back. Come back. Store that in there. Then take... One metal plate. Okay. Oh. If I just do one. No. If I just do one. I did it before. Alright. Pick up one of the. No, don't do that. No, don't, don't do that. Don't even. What have you got there? You've got a small power field, which we probably don't need, so I put that back in there. And then that guy can have this. Offensive turret. And then we need to put. Was it a metal plate? Oh crap, I can't remember. I think it was a metal plate. We want this guy to have a metal plate. How do I get this one? I don't want something. Oh, let's just see what happens. He took 17. I'll just keep doing it. Two. One. Alright, now you got one left. Okay, let's go. I'll explore this dude again. <laughs> oh, I should have done the power thing. Oh, let's see what happens. That's it is clear these structures were built by a similar life form, yet the timestamps date back thousands of years. Oh man. Okay, so I take all of those. I can only take one thing. Okay, bloody hell. We'll put them back then. Take the good stuff. Okay. Oh, cool. That says it's still got three stuff in it. Sweet. Okay, come back. Now, is that where the... Or is it in there that it's got... No. Where did, the, where did they go? The little data things. Let's go. Put it in there. Cool. Awesome. Alright. Okay. Well, let's save the game there. Let's go save new. Stop. Save. And. In game. What a wicked tutorial. I'll have to start a new one. Okay. Well, my name is Chris from Around Tabber Co op. This is my first look at a desynced. Very cool game. Uh, that took a, it was a bit of a steep learning curve for me, but then it kind of clicked after the uh, did a few things. So developed by Stage Games Inc. and published by Forklift Interactive. And thank you very much to Stride PR for the review key. You'll see my review early access review up on roundtablecop.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video.